with women. Hey there. Who doesn't love gardening? Flowers, flower beds, dirt, you know, gardening stuff. So imagine my delight when I saw this British commercial. When everything's a mess, my favorite thing to do is mow the lawn, mow the lawn, mow it, do it, cut it, shoot it. Some bushes are really big, some gardens are mighty small. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think they're talking about gardening. Ah, yes. The bush. It's just another one of Mother Nature's gifts to the endless supply of euphemisms for our lady parts. <laughs> for indeed, how else but in euphemism could we speak of them? For we are ladies, and when our delicate lady parts are mentioned, we cannot bear it. Hey, I got us two tickets to the vagina monologues. Not again. Using natural metaphors protects us from saying horrid words like and 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 these euphemisms are so ingrained in our culture, in the American version of that Razor commercial, they didn't need to say anything at all. Introducing a Chic Watcher for Women trim style. Moses! And of course, speaking of the lady part in Toto, why use the technical term? Why not just pick an animal that represents what that part does? For instance, my V-bag is an aquatic, semi-nocturnal species of rodent who likes to try an underwear. With you convertible liners, you've got both covered for the ultimate care down there. The beaver in those Australian commercials lives a very active lifestyle with its lady. They get manicures, get their hair did, and even scope hot dudes at the beach. <laughs> I don't know which beaver to go after. The one sitting next to that woman, or the one supposedly that that beaver represents. You know what I mean? Semiotics. Mother Nature even appears in a commercial for tampons. Nice dream, Jane. Mother Nature, get out that I brought you your monthly gift today. I wish mine came in a tidy red box. Oh wait, it does. Talking about lady parts is so uncomfortable, even Kathy Lee and Hoda on the Today Show, who make everyone uncomfortable, even they need to use natural metaphors. What's the takeaway? Air it out. <laughs> yes. Let it grow. Let it breathe. <laughs> let it, and what else? So ladies, next time words fail you when trying to describe your genitalia, just turn to the world of nature. My chia pet. My fern. My gentle alpaca. My sarlacc the sand pit from Return of the Jedi. For more Sarah Haskins, check out Infomania's half-hour show Thursdays at 10 on Current TV.